In November, University of Illinois alumnus Dylan Rossi received a phone call from his grandfather. So he called me and said, do you know where your brother is? And I said, no, I assume he's at work though. And then he says, he's not in jail. I'm like, no, he's not in jail. It was then that Dylan knew something was terribly wrong. His grandfather had been scammed out of $7,000 by someone who pretended to be his grandson. The scammer said he was in big legal trouble and would go to jail if he didn't get the money. I could tell by his voice he felt really foolish, really ashamed, just really upset at himself. This situation is not unique. The grandparent scam is cited as one of the most common cons used on the elderly. Like many others, Dylan's mother Erin credits the success of such scams to elderly nature. They're, they come from a generation of more trusting people. These crooks prey on that. Erin added that because the sum stolen did not exceed $10,000, her parents would likely never see the money again. They talk to the attorney general, they talk to the cops, they talk to the FBI. It's too small an amount for any of them to go investigate. Because of loopholes like this, Brian Mertz, communication specialist at CITES at the University of Illinois, said he thinks the elderly should look at scams in a new way. It's not a law enforcement solution, it's an education solution. If law enforcement can't stop the criminals, you've got to teach the victims not to be victims. Mertz has found the best way to teach victims is to encourage skepticism and raise awareness about scams. Aaron agreed and believes that the more people who know about the scam and how to handle it, the better. I told all my friends with their elderly parents, the, you know, the, if, if you get this call claiming to be one of the grandchildren, don't fall for the scam. Call, call the kid's parents. Call the kid. And though it's too late for Dylan's grandfather, with this advice, others can avoid his fate. With Off the Shelf and Online and CU Citizen Access, I'm Bailey Bryant.